Coaches should ensure the runway is level and clear of any debris. The pit is deep enough to cushion the landing and long enough to safely handle jumpers distances. The board is flush with the runway. Athletes take off on two feet, landing in the pit with their legs extended and the arms reaching forward. The athlete takes five strides and drives the knee upwards so that the thigh is parallel with the ground. The takeoff leg should be fully extended at the ankle, knee and hip. There is a flat-footed plant as the knee drives upwards. The arm action is similar to running with the driving arm leading up and outwards. The upper body remains tall. The athlete lands on the non-takeoff foot. Similar to the first drill, but with more speed and more aggressive takeoffs working on rhythm. Short, three to six strides. Medium, seven to ten strides. Full, eleven to sixteen strides. There are three basic techniques in the long jump. Sail, hang, hitch. For the purpose of this video, the sail will be reviewed. In the sail, the free leg moves directly out in front of the hips. The takeoff leg moves ahead to join the free leg. The body then prepares for landing. A box is used to give the jumper enough height to practice the technique in the air. The goal of the approach run is to generate the maximum amount of speed, which can be converted to vertical lift. The approach may be odd or even numbers. The number of steps should be equal to the age of the athlete. Athletes can get a starting point by walking back two steps for every one running stride. For example, a 12-step approach would be 24 walking strides. Eventually, the athlete should establish a consistent approach which is measured with a tape and used during practice and competition. The jumper's takeoff should be close to the edge of the board to maximize distance. From this point, the athlete can complete the full jump. Once the athlete takes off, the flight of the center of gravity is already determined. So it is the goal of the athlete to maximize distance by getting into the best landing position. Exercises are very important for athletes. They help athletes to reach their performances, to improve their performances and reach high results, and at the same time to prevent injuries. 